the new Curl DevBoard Micro from Google. Unlike other boards in a similar class of products, the Curl DevBoard Micro not only contains an NXP IMX RT1176 dual-core CPU with one ARM Cortex-M7 core and one M Cortex-M4 core, but also the Curl Tensor Processing Unit, as seen here. This TPU is an ML accelerator module that can handle 4 trillion operations per second, or TOPS, for quantized models. This means the board is much closer in performance to the larger Coral Dev board than something with a more traditional architecture that relies on only the CPU to perform these operations. Beyond the CPU cores and TPU, the Coral Dev board micro also contains 128 megabytes of NAND flash memory for storing program or model data and 64 megabytes of SD RAM. Near the top is an onboard HiMax HM01B0 324x324 pixel color camera sensor. There is also an additional two-lane MIPI CSI camera connector for connecting another module. There is an onboard PDM microphone element, along with an additional three unused PDM lanes for use with other modules. 24 GPIO header pins, comparable to the Raspberry Pi Pico Scoundrel 26, allow for a plethora of sensors and other circuitry to be attached, facilitating the creation of a wide variety of prototypes. Lastly, two high-density connectors enable the use of add-on boards to further expand the Coral Dev Board Micro's features. Currently, two add-on boards are available, which allow for far more connectivity and functionality than is otherwise possible on the Dev Board Micro alone. First is the wireless add-on board, and it contains a Murata Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module with support for up to Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.0. Second, the Power of Ethernet, or PoE board, allows for the 10 or 100 megabit per second Ethernet modes while receiving up to 7 watts of peak system power thanks to its compatibility with the IEEE 802.3 AF specification. This pair of add-on boards is a great way to quickly add either wired or wireless connectivity to whatever embedded AI applications deploy. <laughs> Powering on the board for the first time, it begins to run a preloaded application, which turns the green LED in the center of the Coral Dev Board Micro on whenever a face is detected. Now, let's take a look at a more advanced example. It's possible to load the multi core model cascade project taken from the Coral Micro repository and use it to experiment with running two models simultaneously. This allows one processor to look for faces, and if one is detected, begin pose detection on the other processor. Most examples are written for the free RTOS framework which supports the creation of separate tasks and other operating system specific features. Due to a real-time OS's more complex nature, the Arduino programming framework can also be utilized for more quickly getting started or just to experiment. Google provides their own Coral board package for the Arduino IDE, complete with pin definitions, the toolchain, and several robust examples. One good example to try is the Detect Faces sketch, as it shows how to use the camera and a model to display detected faces in the serial monitor. Simply select the sketch, connect a board, and then hit upload to see it run. To get started with the Coral Dev Board Micro, you can view the setup guide and references on the Coral.ai website. There, you can find instructions for setting up free RTOS, your Arduino IDE, and view several pre-trained models that you can drop into an application. Beyond this, you're always free to collect your own data sets and train a TensorFlow Lite model from the ground up for use in a countless number of real-world applications, including smart homes, preventative maintenance, and so much more.